The Civil Aviation Authority and the Air Accident Investigation Department are working closely to quickly bring some closure to the families of that fatal crash nearly two weeks ago. Kelsey Johnson has an update on the investigation. A logbook was one of several items recovered from the wreck of the Piper Aztec, the plane which went down in Andros two weeks ago with five passengers and the pilot. Crash investigators say that only 5% of anything as it relates to the crash has been discovered so far. They also reveal that the pilot had only recorded 250 flying hours and that his last log entry was made in 2014. The role of the accident investigation is not to blame anybody. We don't say it's pilot fault. We don't do that. We try to find out what, what may have contributed to the accident, whether it was the weather, whether it was the aircraft, or whether it was pilot training, or whether it was pilot's knowledge. All of those are factors we look at before we could make a decision as to what actually took place. Even though investigators are not blaming the pilot, they did reveal that he had little to no qualifications for flying in bad weather. Once you've gotten a instrument rating and you got a multi-engine rating, you normally require to do the instrument portion of for your rating again in the multi-engine aircraft. If you didn't do that, the FAA Federal Aviation Administration they will put a limitation on your license that says VFR day only. In the case of the pilot, his license had VFR day only on it. Therefore, he should not have been flying in any kind of weather that is below the minimum for VFR. Investigations into such fatal incidents are done in four stages. Three of those include the initial on-scene probing and analysis. Chief Investigator of Air Accidents Delvin Major says a request for the aircraft's maintenance reports was made and honored by the plane's owner who leased the aircraft. We could almost certainly rule out mechanical, but like I said, we can't at this time. Director of Civil Aviation Authority Captain Charles Benneby confirmed that the pilot did indeed make contact with air traffic control before takeoff and was given a transporter's code. Contact was lost with the aircraft shortly thereafter, and all attempts to re-establish that contact proved uh, fruitless. If there's any negligence uh, involved, then certainly they can seek redress in the courts. A memorial was held in Andros on Friday past for the fallen six. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Network News. A Bahamian man missing at sea for over 15 days was found about 10 miles east of West Palm Beach and he's now recovering in a Florida hospital. The local lifeguard Samuel Moss spoke about his ordeal at sea from his hospital bed via Facebook Live. Like Tuesday last week I drove like but then but 40 miles to uh, Miami. So I say if I drift then I read on my phone I say if I drift then at one mile per hour. I can take me but 40 hours. I got to find a way. I can just like two miles per hour to three miles. Mm -hmm. So I use on canvas and I use the boat as a sailboat. Turn the engine and actually let the motor the boat swing one way. But I noticed I was going back in the cube again. I said, hold on. I shift the side of the canvas, turn the engine and actually I noticed I start sailing into the end in the key rest. But I had to anchor for like a few minutes to let tie tie down. But I was going too fast. Mm -hmm. I end up in the Everglades. Miami says, all right then. I just said, nah, 